This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at optical isomerism. Optical isomerism is shown by chiral molecules that have a carbon atom bonded to four different atoms or groups. This carbon atom is sometimes called a chiral center or asymmetric carbon. Note that a chiral center is also sometimes called a chiral carbon atom. The first example we look at is butantuol. Butantuol is a secondary alcohol with four carbon atoms. Butantuol is a chiral molecule. It has a carbon atom that's bonded to four different atoms or groups. If we look at the model of butantuol, we can see that this carbon atom is bonded to a CH3 group, an OH group, a hydrogen, and a C2H5 group. Therefore, this is a chiral center or asymmetric carbon. On the right, we have the stereochemical formula of butantuol. The asymmetric carbon is marked with a red asterisk. The four groups around the chiral center can be arranged in two three-dimensional configurations, which are mirror images of each other. The two mirror images are non-superimposable and are known as enantiomers. So here we can see the two enantiomers of butantuol. As you can see, they are mirror images of each other and non-superimposable. Next, we look at some more examples of chiral molecules. From left to right, we have 2-chlorobutane, pentantuol, and the amino acid alanine. If we start with 2-chlorobutane, we can see that this carbon atom is bonded to four different atoms or groups. Therefore, it is an asymmetric carbon. In pentantuol, we can see that this carbon atom is also bonded to four different atoms or groups. And in alanine, this carbon atom is also bonded to four different atoms or groups. Enantiomers have identical physical properties such as melting point and boiling point, except that they rotate the plane of plane polarized light in opposite directions, which means they are optically active. This property is used to distinguish between the two enantiomers of a chiral molecule. We'll look at this in more detail in the next video. The chemical properties of two enantiomers are also identical, except when they react with other chiral molecules, such as those found in the human body.